Good morning, everyone. So I want to address an issue that is really interesting. So a legend in anything is not something you call yourself, right? It's something that you actually do and other people decide that's the case. So quite often people call me a legend and I joke around because the truth is that I don't think that I'm finished. So I appreciate the love, but I say I used to drive a legend. My point is that hitting a status or level means not much to me unless you're still able to do it. And I know that age and injury and sickness is real, but what I'm saying is that we want to have to, we want to fight that, offset that without making excuses, you know, because I say I'm 10 years old because 5 and 5 could be 55 or it could be 10. And I'm excited like when I was a 10-year-old little kid that I loved my Bruce Lee movies. I mean, today I'm going to see a Jackie Chan movie I've never seen before called Gorgeous. Incredible fight scene that someone told me. And um, I also love my dancing. Yeah, dancing, locking, popping, boogieing. I can't do much breaking yet, but I'm going to work on those things. So what are the things that you really love to do as a child that today people make fun of you possibly, but that's what brings you joy. Life is about creating moments and joy. It's not about being miserable. Yes, we know that we're living through some crazy times. That's why I'm into nutrition. I've always been to nutrition. I've been into exercise because it's fun. It's the closest thing for me being a, a Puerto Rican, born in Manhattan, raised in the Bronx, to be like a superhero. And some people give me compliments that really blow me away. I'm like, what the heck? So I feel like I have a responsibility not to make these people look bad, but do the opposite, inspire, motivate, leading by example. I mean, what's wrong with that? And I know that there's people who, for whatever reason it is, they choose not to do things like compete still. But what I'm saying is that those of you specifically who are my peers, who we got down and did some stuff back in the 80s, 90s, we have a responsibility, at least I believe we have a responsibility to show that we don't have to be old men, so to speak. Or like Bruce Lee said, sick men of age. We're not just old men of yesteryear. And women also. Man, we can have so much fun and it will increase our task. I should say it will increase our endorphins and testosterone and a whole bunch of the good amino acids instead of dopamine. Not just dopamine, I should say. Instead of the, the cortisol and all the other negative ones. What I'm saying, guys, is that once you know what it is that you love, keep doing it. I mean, life is too short. We might as well enjoy it at least on this earth plane, and if you align yourself with what is the truth, see, some people think that humans can have a spiritual experience, but that's not true. We're spirits having the human experience, and that being the case, we are created in the image of the greatest of the great. So we might as well take it to a whole other level with no excuses, and if you need help, guidance, motivation, contact me. I'm the easiest guy to find, because when this comes down to it, man, I'm happy to be alive today. And thank you for the Hall of Fame. But the truth of the matter is, when I get feedback from people, it's just as important. That means everybody. Thank you very much. God bless.